More than 800 people have been killed after a powerful 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck the North African nation. So that earthquake hit late last night. It was centered high in the mountains around Marrakesh. Of course, you know that's a tourist destination. The tremors brought down, look at this, parts of buildings, historic homes there. And understandably, people just ran into the streets. The house rocked aggressively. Everyone was scared. And I was shocked and didn't understand what was happening. I thought it was only my house that was moving because it's fragile and old. I heard people screaming. Everyone went out of their houses. The street is full of people and women screaming. That's what happened. Even now, people can't go back home because they're still afraid. Now look at this video. Uh, two men, you see them run uh, when they feel the shaking. And then moments later, you see all the panic, uh, more people running. And then this, rubble falling uh, when the men had been just moments before. Wow. Wow. Nearly 700 people were reportedly injured in the quake. And now there is a race to reach the victims in the most affected areas. But officials say rescue teams are struggling to get to those places. CNN's Ben Wiedemann is on the ground now. Ben, what's the latest in terms of the rescue efforts? Well, those rescue efforts have been uh, intense over the last few hours. Unfortunately, you know, the epicenter is about 45 uh, miles to the southwest of Marrakesh in the high Atlas Mountains. I've been in that area. It is very rugged, very difficult uh, to reach in the best of times. And what we've had here is this... this uh, earthquake happened at 13 minutes past 11 in the evening uh, at a time when many people were in their homes uh, sleeping. And this is an area uh, that, uh, in, certainly in the rural areas, it's very hard to reach. And so those rescue efforts are uh, running into challenges. Now, within the last 15 minutes, Moroccan state television has announced that the death toll has reached at least 820. And of course, the expectation is, in fact, that the death toll will continue to rise. Now, a little while ago, CNN uh, spoke with one man in one of those most affected areas. And this is what he said. He said, four of my family members are dead. I managed to get out safely with my two children, but lost the rest. He said, my house is completely destroyed in the area. There is no electricity. There is no running water. He said, the authorities are trying to pull more people, survivors uh, from the rubble. But he basically said, we are hoping for a miracle uh, from the rubble. So this is a very difficult situation.